This is one example from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the one who has a good intention in his heart while he's doing the zakah, while he's paying the zakah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving an example if you want to understand this. It's just like you have a good land. Here it is. Good heart, good land. And in this good land, it, it, if it rains, then what will happen? When it rains, then you may have a lot of fruits, vegetables, whatever, or plants that you will get. And then you will benefit from this. And even if you could not get any plants, then the water still will be there in the land. It will not go. So the fertility of the land, the soil, will be there always. So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving an example when you have the good intention while you are doing anything. For example, you have good intention to make good relationship between two brothers. They had a problem. And then you tried your best, and then at the end, you could not do anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for your intention. When you come to the prayers and you don't have the intention, then you are losing everything. It has no meaning to prayers or to do any good acts if it's only out of your habits, not intention. Once, when the Prophet وسلم, and he asked the companion as well to go from Mecca to immigrate to Medina, and then many people started to go there because it was the order of the Prophet وسلم, so everybody is obeying. And then there was one man who loved one lady, and he wanted to get married to her. Both of them are Muslims. So he asked her to get married, and then she said, no, I would get married to you only with one condition. If you leave with me, if we, both of us, we immigrate to Medina. Because the Prophet said that, so she wanted to say, OK, we go to Medina, and then I will accept your proposal. And then he wanted to go to Medina for what? Just to get married. Not to obey the Prophet Sallallahu order. And then he went for that reason. And when the Prophet Sallallahu knew that, he said the very famous hadith. In every Islamic book you would see in the first page, you would read this hadith. It's very famous. عن عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه قال قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إنما الأعمال بالنيات وإنما لكل امرئ ما نوى indeed all the actions is based on the intention if you want to travel if you want to do anything if you want to pray if it's for Allah or not if it's for Allah you get the rewards if not you get nothing فمن كانت هجرته إلى الله ورسوله فهجرته إلى الله ورسوله The one who is immigrating from مكة to المدينة for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and to obey the order of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم then it is indeed for that reason and indeed Allah سبحانه وتعالى will give him the words for that yet ومن كانت هجرته لدنيا يصيبها 
او امراه یا یکی خواه پنیزر رو هو ایده منها جارا ایده ای و for the one who is immigrating going to Medina for a business for something for the dunya to make business or to get married to a lady then he will go for what he has went for which means that it's not for Allah he should not expect any reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted us and invited us to his house every day to come and to pray but do not lose the reward by just making it as a habit every time you refresh your heart you refresh your intention you say why I'm coming here every time you enter the masjid ask yourself why I'm here after you go out you say why I was there what did I learn what did I do is it just like a habit or to show off between the other Muslims that you are, mashallah, good Muslim or what? We need this reminder. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the other ayah, أَفَمَنْ أَسَّسَ بُنْيَانَهُ عَلَىٰ تَقْوَىٰ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانِ خَيْرٌ أَمَّنْ أَسَّسَ بُنْيَانَهُ عَلَىٰ شَفَىٰ جُرْءٍ هَارٍ تَنْهَارَ بِهِ فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَحْدِي الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ In Surah Al-Tawbah. Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving us a very beautiful another example when you want to build something you have a basement right you may have and here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says bunyanahu. is it the same for the the one who is his basement is based on the taqwa fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so his basement is very strong his actions what he is doing is all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's based on his Taqwa, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it the same? Or the one who would build his a house where on besides the river. You know, beside the river it would be very weak, right? And it could any moment demolish the whole house. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look how he's giving the example. Is the same this person who has like very strong basement? And the one who has his house on this side of the river, where it fall down with him in the Jahannam. SubhanAllah, this is a very beautiful example to understand. So make sure that when you are praying, when you are doing any act, when you are going to work, what is your intention? When you wake up and you want to go to work, what is your intention? Ask again. Subhanallah, the scholars said, Al Adat bil Ibadat bil Niyya that Hawa bina Ibadat. Which means that even your regular habits, every day that you do, if you have a proper intention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will become as a worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will reward you for that. Very easy example. If you go to the toilet, come on, everybody who has to go over right there, right? If you have intention that you want to clean yourself for Allah, you will get reward even for that. You want to eat. Before you eat, you say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nawaitu taqawwi ala ta'atillah. My intention to have this food is to string my body for the sake of Allah. Then all the food that you are eating, you will get reward for that. When you wake up and you want to go to your office to work, and you say, today I would like to work to make money for my family and then I utilize it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Then you will get reward for that. You see, for anything that you will do, regular things, habits you will do, you will get reward. Why not? SubhanAllah, mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us utilize our life and our time properly by having always good intention and based all action on the taqwa.